Hey everybody, this is Marcus Thompson for Boss Life uh, Vlog. Another day, another Saturday. Uh, yeah, I'm getting in that extra overtime today. I didn't go to uh, bed last night till 3.30 because I was up late at night uh, trying to figure out all this SEO stuff. And I was going to build that off the top of a Facebook advertisement. Them are the two things I'm going to learn. Uh, that way I could go to small mom and pop companies and uh, sell my service instead of just making 100% of all my money coming from affiliated marketing and stuff. Because I'm not really interested in affiliated marketing and all that stuff. It, it seems cool. It seems like a quick hustle. It seems like quick money, you know, get some money in your pocket, whatever, whatever. Because uh, for me, I want something that's going to be a consistent thing. And one of the consistent things that I like about selling a service like that is that I can sell a monthly subscription. And uh, that means that I have a uh, cash flow. Uh, today's topic I want to talk about is uh, just what, what is your long term? Uh, what, what is what is the long term goal here? Because a, a lot of time that that is what drive us. You know, uh, affiliated marketing and all of that stuff, it helps fulfill short term goals. But a lot of them short term goals have to fulfill a bigger picture. You know, it has to be meaningful. It has to have a purpose behind it. Uh, I'm not just talking about a year from now. I'm talking about 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, because before you know it, it's going to be upon us. I can remember about 13 years ago, I'm just now signing up to become a uh, a mechanic and, and thinking like well I, I'm not gonna be a mechanic too long cuz I'm on the side producing music and something is bound to pop off it never happened and here we are 13 years later I got to recalibrate myself and what one thing I said when I was in my early 20s is that I want to be a millionaire possibly a billionaire by the time I'm 40 but the route that I took was not one that I was supposed to take and I didn't know no better. I didn't have no mentor. I didn't really understand or read books to figure that out. As a matter of fact, I read a lot of books, but it was more fantasy style books, you know, like some uh, The Partner, The Pelican's Brief. I was reading them type of books, adult books nonetheless, but they were fictional, mostly fictional. Nothing, nothing that uh, self-helped me, nothing that helped me get my mind right to go to the next level in my life to become a not just a grown man but a grown ass man somebody who can uh have uh sustain sustain a nice financial future for myself and my, and my family uh, i had to recalibrate myself a few years ago when i dedicated myself to just really uh just to really go for the gold uh, one of my uh, one of the guys that I used to like looking up to is Mark Cuban because he was 40 years old when he bought the Dallas Mavericks. And I always said that I want to be a young owner of a professional sports team. And so I, I, that was my vision to go on part of or a, a full ownership in a sports team and not just any sports team, but hopefully my favorite team of all sports team, the Houston Astros. I don't really uh, follow basketball anymore or football like that to be to say that I want to own one of them type of them teams. I'm a diehard Houston Astro fan. Really, I'm a diehard baseball fan. So that that's that's my dream come true. And uh, so to get there, I have to really change my way of thinking. I have to really change my way of life, really. And, and open myself and open my life to receive a million dollars. And I'm gonna tell you guys, a million dollars is not is 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 not something that's gonna uh, is is not a place where I'm gonna stop at. It can't obviously. A million dollars is just keeping score of my accomplishments. Cause there's nobody on either side of my family who's ever really made cons on a consistent base hundreds and thousands of dollars a year they might hit it one year miss it the next year uh make 80 make ninety thousand dollars for a lot of us eighty ninety thousand dollars goes a long way but it, it, it can't be the final touch like the million dollars is to me it can't be it's just a another level of accomplishment and once i reach a million dollars in a year i can say okay 
I can accomplish that. I did accomplish that. Okay, that's another notch under the belt. Now it's time to take it a step further, a step further. You know, just keep taking one step further till I get to my, uh, my, my final destination. And throughout that journey, throughout the journey, there's a few things I wanted to, uh, to uh, try to accomplish. And it's going to sound crazy to y'all. I want to try at some point, maybe get my hands in some boxing promotion. Uh, at one point, I might even consider doing some wrestling, some pro wrestling promotion. Because here in the South, especially in Texas, there is a market for uh, local pro wrestling. And if done right, it could be very lucrative. So I don't want to just tie all my uh, assets and just uh, technology. I, I want to... I want it in technology and some entertainment. And so by the time I get to owning my sports franchise, I will have a better understanding how sports entertainment run. And so by the time I do own a baseball team, it'll be nothing for me to run it and not only run it, but run it successfully. And so that, that that's just the long term goals. Hopefully by the time I'm 50, I can accomplish that because I plan on pushing it to the uh, uh, limit because I told you guys uh, I, I read a lot about oil which shouldn't be nothing new they they a year ago they found a year and a half ago they found a billion dollars worth of oil and a floor in West Texas in the ground that, that's a lot of money and I'm one of them guys I want to do the exploration part I want to go by like hundreds and you know go in with some business partners by hundreds and hundreds of, of acres and just start exploring for oil. You know, get a guy out there and say, hey, this is potentially oil, let's, let's go digging. And I wanna be the one on the front end of things who's getting the most money, where they talking about, oh, oil, barrels of oil is selling for $90 a, a barrel. And here I am pulling about 100, uh, 100 barrels of oil an hour or something like that out of the flow. And that, that them three things, are my driving or are, are my driving factors I want something with a lot of sustainability I don't want something where it's here today gone tomorrow or if it's quick cash get it get in and get out and that's how come I slowly started walking away from stuff like Bitcoin because uh, it's so up and down up and down and it doesn't really have any future I want something I, and, I, and I I'm probably and I'm probably repeat myself from a few videos back but I want something that's going to be the backbone uh, of this country, something that can move this country because that's what stays, you know, like railroads and uh, energy, you know, cars, you know, uh, fuel efficient cars, stuff of that nature. Something something that the people can use. I, I want to invest more. I guess you could say I, I want to invest more in needs than wants, even though wants is a nice thing. But when you invest in people's needs, you tend to stay around a little bit longer because not only do they need it, but they uh, have to spend an arm and a leg for it. Because people, when you need something like a doctor visit, a dentist visit, if it wasn't for insurance, we would co consistently see eight, four thousand dollar bills, sixteen thousand dollar bills. And God forbid you got a terminal illness like uh, cancer and you're liable to see a $20,000 bill. And, uh, you get a broken leg, that's a $10,000 bill. And that's just to get, you know, the, the original diagnostics, the, the original service. And that's not including if you have to uh, keep coming back to uh, do uh, personal training to rebuild your body. So that's, that's not even included. But it's a need. You have to go and do those things. So without insurance, you're screwed in that point. And so that's that's what I want to uh, get into. I want to start investing in needs, maybe even in health care, because health care always need need something because there's, there's a lot of sick people, a lot of people hurting mentally and physically. So uh, leave, leave your comments below. Tell me what are your your goals, your long term goals? Uh, I, I'll, I'll be very interested. And before I let you go today, I want to let y'all know that uh, even though I'm working on chores on getting better production for all this, I really uh, do enjoy doing this by uh, the phone. 
cuss the spontaneousness of it. You know, I could just, at the drop of a dime, drop a vlog on you guys and go on about my business. I, there's no editing, no nothing, just drop because all these videos I do in one take because it's so grimy, it's so true. It got, to me, it has a lot of character to it. I don't, I don't want everything always polished. But as I move along, it's going to get better as far as my other stuff. Because I told you guys, I also want to incorporate other things. Like uh, I got a friend who does drop shipping. I want to interview him. I got a cousin who's trying to uh, start his own food company, his own uh, restaurant, catering business. Uh, I see you, Justin. Uh, I got a friend who's a personal bodybuilder. I want to talk to people who does finances. I want to talk to a lot of bosses and really get into what drives them and what do they do on their day to day business. So you can really understand what it is to be a true boss and not just saying, hey, I'm the boss because I do X, Y and Z. I just really want to put a whole bunch of bosses in front of y'all as, as I make my journey. And, and those things will be better produced. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but as far as these daily vlogs, I kind of want to keep it spontaneous, you know, off the cuff, as they say, off the hip, you know, just bam. Here you go. Here's 10, 10, 12 minutes of uh, content for you guys. But I, uh, yeah, just leave your comments down below like this. Please share it. Subscribe. And uh, I do appreciate those who are still around and checking out the video. It is highly uh, appreciated. And y'all have a good day.